On November 24th, a St. Louis County grand jury refused to indict Officer Darren Wilson, a white police officer who fatally shot Michael Brown, a black 18-year-old, after a confrontation on August 9th in Ferguson, Missouri. Scenes of violence and rioting have engulfed Ferguson following news that the grand jury decided not to indict Officer Wilson. Several other cities in the U.S. are holding protests in solidarity with Michael Brown's family and to voice frustration at the larger issue of police brutality in impoverished neighborhoods. Here is a video illustrating just how people feel about Michael Brown, Ferguson, and racism in America. Now I want everybody to put their fist up. I want everybody to put their fist up. It don't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, if you for the cause you here. You fighting with us. And transform. Yeah. Unity is power. Unity is power. Everybody say that. One, two, three. Unity is power. One, two, three. Unity is power. Fight for a reason. Fight for a reason. <laughs> Well, right now, I really feel like I want to start a riot. I'm not trying to hurt anybody, but I'm angry. Our black brothers and sisters are dying every day. The judicial system is propped up by white supremacy. Nobody wants to talk about it because they're calling for a coalition of unity between whiteness and blackness, and that's not what I'm here to talk about. Because at the end of the day, these white bodies, they're not, they're not dying. They're not on the streets. They're not being racially profiled. This is not what, this is not, they can stand up here with their white privilege and say I'm for you, but they're not going to deny it. The police that are out here, the bomb squad, they're not here for no white people. And nobody wants to say that. We're all going to sit here because we're scared to offend somebody. It's for all of our fallen brothers. You can't forget the woman who lives in control. They next, they next. Let me get the moment of silence for us now. All right, lift our king. Let's go. Now, my women. I want y'all to put y'all fist up. Fellas, put it down. Fellas, put it down. And I want us to have a moment of silence for our fallen women after this. I've been police, police brutality firsthand against me. You know what I mean? Last time I was arrested was March 26. A uh, guy actually crashed into the car that I was driving, and I called to make a police report. And because of a clerical error that the, D the Department of Motor Vehicles made, I was arrested and lost 26 hours of my freedom. To me, that's police brutality. Even though I wasn't beat up and bruised and battered, I still lost 26 hours of my life to a cell. As a college student at Florida a University, I have encountered police brutality. I was driving one block from my house. My license was two weeks expired. I was dragged out of my vehicle. I was cuffed. I was taken to a police station only to be released later for absolutely no reason with my roommate standing right outside my apartment. They just stopped us and, you know, just asking us questions, just basic stop and frisk. So, and we were, I, I was asking them about, you know, telling them my rights, but my rights did not matter uh, at all because the police actually hold, hold, uh, hold power over, over the people. I'm here because I'm angry. This could have been my nephew going to college, but he's not. I'm a dude Diallo, Ramali Graham, Trayvon Martin, I'm hella fucking pissed because I'm so tired of having these type of discussions where we sit here and say we, we all for peace. That's some bullshit. The blue on black violence is serious. And it don't got nothing to do with a white person standing next to you saying, oh, I'm here for you. You can write your fucking posters all day. But at the end of the day, you are comforted with your white privilege. This Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, this life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, it don't include the black and the brown body. It does not include people of color because we were three-fifths of a people. When our black brothers stand before the judge, they ain't thinking about that. We don't have access to that. Our agency, my social location, does it a lot for any of that. So I'm sorry, I'm not here for rainbows, for peace. I have white friends. I'm not racist, I'm not prejudiced, but what I'm here to talk about is what's going on with my black people. I'm about solidarity with my black people, institutions of power for my people. My message to the families of, of those who have suffered at the hands of police brutality is that we are here, we are with you. Come stand next to us, we stand next to you. We will march with you, that there is hope, 
we, we, we you know, I, I, can, I can never really fully communicate how, how my pain that I share with you, I can't even imagine the pain you go through. But I could say this, that we can say no more, that we have to say no more. That while we have to, to mourn amongst ourselves, we also have to go into the streets and, t and, and, and say no more. No more can the police, no more can the racist police te uh, uh, terrorize our communities. No more. And, to, and that, that message applies to the police too. Study. Study long, study wrong, but still study. Know that you are a living, breathing, sentient being. You are a sovereign being. Nobody has rights over you besides yourself. As long as you don't commit harm to somebody else and their property, you've done no wrong. There is no victimless crimes. If there are, there are codes and rules that have no parity with you. You have no legal obligations to follow any rules, cool, ro ru rules and codes that they set up. They have no parity with you. What you have to understand is that there is only one law. Treat others as you would like to be treated, which is also the golden rule. I'm in the same boat as you, and my next. And if I were gunned down, would it look different because I wear a suit, or if I wear jeans, would it be different because I have a shirt and tie on, or because I have it fitted on? No matter what, our culture is set up today for society to work against you. So today we come in unification to tell you that no matter what you are, what you look like, who you praise, where you came from, or the color of your skin, you are allowed under a country that's supposed to be built on unity, without classism, without racism, civil liberties. Reports indicate that tensions may worsen with news that a local chapter of the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK, is threatening to use force on protesters. Although no instances of confrontation between protesters and the KKK members have been reported yet. Fatima Sisse, Sahara TV.